class. So the commutative property, it just the order of the factors does not change the product. And we're doing that with multiplication. With addition, the order of the add-ins does not change the sum. It's really easy. Does that make sense? Kellen, you have a question? Yeah, Mr. B, I don't get it. Me neither. Oh, guys, it's simple. <laughs> Properties, properties, check out these multiplication and addition properties, yo. First we gotta figure what the heck is a property. We gotta start out slow so it don't come out sloppily. We ain't talking property like something that you own. We be talking about a math true. Math true. Come on, things that hold true from problem to problem. When adding or multiplying, no matter how you solve them. Properties, properties, check out these multiplication and addition properties. Move them round and round and you get the same answer. Group them two by two and you'll always get it right. Add zero times one, the number stays the same. Starting with commutative, this talks about the order. You can take the numbers and switch them back and forth. The order doesn't matter. You can check this. Cause six times five equals five times six. And with addition, the same thing is true. Cause two plus nine equals nine plus two. Move the numbers round all that you want to. The answer won't change, so come on, let me hear you. Move them round and round and you get the same answer. Group them two by two and you'll always get it right. Add zero times one, the number stays the same. Let's move to associative, we're talking about group and you get the same answer no matter how you do it. It works the same if you add or multiply. Here's an example to look at with your eyes. If you had 2 times 3 times 5, you could group it however you like. Cause 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 5 is 30, or 3 times 5 is 15, 15 times 2 is 30. Let's stop it right now cause it's getting kinda wordy. And all the words, man, are getting kind of blurry. But don't worry, and don't scurry. Now bring that chorus back, y'all, and bring it with some fury. Move them round and round, and you get the same answer. Group them two by two, and you'll always get it right. Add zero times one, the number stays the same. Last but not least, the identity property. When adding zero to a number, nothing really changes. See, cause 10 plus zero equals 10. A plus zero equals A. Get any number, add a zero, and the number doesn't change. Now a different twist on this. Please stay with me and do not run. Identity when you multiply is when you multiply by one. Like 10 times one equals 10, and eight times one equals eight. Multiply any number by one, and that number doesn't change. But don't forget the difference when you add and multiply. Just take this rhyme, memorize, and you won't have to try. Properties, properties, check out these multiplication and addition properties. Move them round and round and you get the same answer. Group them two by two and you always get it right. Add zero times one, the number stays the same. Move them round and round and you get the same answer. Group them two by two and you always get it right. Add zero times one, the number stays the same. It's just simple mathematics.